why are we trying what what are we trying to stop there's some there's a motive to what we are doing right but the question goes for both of y'all what do you think we are trying to prevent from happening all right uh, then i'm gonna ask another question uh, are, uh did you raise by your mother and father did you raise by your mother and father that's a perfect example that's exactly what is that's exactly how it happened when you start at that early age when you know you don't know no damn thing how to uh, uh, have a family yet because you're young you should be in school you should be in school but when you start messing around boom she got pregnant like hey my baby you move and now she's stuck with a baby she had to raise the baby by herself that's the reason why uh, Soldier brought Hebrew 13 and 4, saying you that marriage is honorable. Obviously, you guys are not ready for marriage. If you're not ready for marriage, you shouldn't be ready to mess around either. That's a dangerous thing. It's dangerous when you're playing with that thing. And the consequences of that is having brothers growing up and being gangster in the street or, um, or homo, because they don't have a father to look out after them. Right. Do you want that? Do you want the next generation, your sons, to grow up without you? You wouldn't want that. What about you? Do you want to uh, 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 be the only person to raise your child or children? You, do you, now you understand what, 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 what the soldier was bringing out? That's why I wanted to make sure that you guys clearly understand we're not here to bring y'all down. Right. We, we see the 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 common the things that keep going the cycle of that same damn thing that keep going on right. that killing our neighborhood that right. killing our brothers and sisters we don't want that we want that to stop that's, right. that's our missions the same thing that the prophets back in the day used to do in time of christ in time of isaiah in time of jeremiah they are back today that's, right. that's what we're here for to teach you guys guiding you guys how to how to make better decision right now my last question before I, uh, let soldier take over again what are you guys going to make as a decision from right now give me do run me 30 and 19. what will be your decision because this is a very serious thing right. stop worry about the flesh satisfying yourself that's selfish stop worrying about satisfying yourself because that's selfish. Think about the consequences that will follow. What will be our decisions from right now? Anything? Read that for me. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 19. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. Moses says he called heaven and earth to bear records on what being taking place right now. It's the same thing. Same thing Moses says is the same thing I'm telling you. I call heaven and earth to bear records on what being said here. That you didn't walk out ignorantly not knowing that y'all not supposed to be doing this thing. Instead, what y'all should be learning is God's laws. How to, how to apply God's commandment. How to be uh, 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 how to be obedient to the Most High God. Right. How to uh, 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 keep the Sabbath day holy. Right. How to love yourself. Yes. Uh, uh, I think this. I think giving this. Give me Proverbs thirty-one, um, uh, three and thirty-one. That I have set before you life and death, uh -huh. blessings and curses. Uh -huh. Therefore, choose life. You have a choice. You have a choice whether you continue your way or whether you change the path. The, the path of life is keeping the commandment. Yes, the yes. path, give me a prop three thirty one. Uh, the prop, path of of destruction is staying the way you are. Sis, this is for you. The book of Proverbs chapter three verse thirty one. Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. Sis, you are a beautiful sister. You don't need that hair to make yourself pretty. Your natural hair is beautiful. Right. Your right. natural hair is better than the hair that you have on. I'm gonna tell you this. Any brother that have eyes on you, they don't like your natural hair, then that means that shouldn't be someone you even tempt to even think about. Your natural hair is better. God, give me that in uh, uh, Daniel. Uh, God, hair is just like yours, just like mine, just like his. 
Why would you want your hair to be like your oppressor, the one that's oppressing you? Christ's hair is the same woolly texture as your hair. You need to love yourself, sis. I know you are not being taught. These are not the things that, that, that uh, our parents teach us because they didn't know better. But guess what? Now you have people that can teach you. The pastors, all they used to do is taking your money and then let you live in your sin. Right. That, that's no more. Right. You gotta hear it. You gotta make the decision whether you wanna follow it or whether you want you don't want it to. Read. The book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 9. I beheld to the thrones were cast down, and the ancient of days did sin. The ancients of days is God Almighty. He have no beginning, no end. That's He's right. been around forever. Christ have a beginning. Ancients of day is the most high God, above all. He have no beginning, no end. Read. Whose garment was white as snow. It's telling you that he had a garment on. That means he had a body. Read. And his hair on his head like the pure wool. What did that say, sis? Did you hear that? Read it again. And the hair of his head like the pure wool. So what should you have any interest of putting any other texture? Hey, trust me. If you want to look beautiful, have your natural hair out. That's the, uh, give me that, um, um, no, 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 no. Give me uh, the Apocrypha, Wisdom of Solomon 13 and 3. I'm going to show you. The one that created you, he creates you to be like him. You are the, the, the standard of beauty. They got a copy off of you, not the other way around. When you have them, when you copying off of them, you reverse the cycle. That's not how it's supposed to be. Because right. you're the author of beauty. Read that for me. The book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13, verse 3. With whose beauty, if they being delighted, took them to be gods. Let them know how the how much better the Lord of them is. For the first author of beauty have created them. The first author of beauty has created them. You, you. You are the straight image of God. That's right. Why should you want to look like somebody else? You got to love yourself. Love yourself and others will love you. Right. You understand what I'm saying, sis? All right, soldier. Come on. All right, all praise to the most high. So, now we're going to go back over into our dress code, okay? Oh, the ships. I was going to show you the ships. Go to that. Show you the ships. Because... The officer brought it out good. You understand what he was saying, sis? That you you beautiful without all that. You understand that? All praise. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So get the ship, get Egypt. So he said he's gonna bring us into Egypt again. I don't know if y'all know anything about the Bible, but remember, you know about the Bible? You remember Moses was in Egypt, right? How did they get out of Egypt the first time? They walked. They walked out. So he said he gonna bring us back into Egypt again with ships. But the word Egypt, it means something else. You know, if we say, man, that's bad. Or she bad. It don't mean she bad. It means she pretty, right? That's the same thing. The most I talk, he'll talk. Watch this. Read. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of Bondage. The word Egypt is the house of bondage. It means bondage or captivity or slavery. So the Most High God said he was going to bring us back into slavery again. But this time when I take you to slavery, you're going to be on a ship. Read. Go back to what you said. And the, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Uh -huh. Thou shalt see it no more again, uh -huh. and there ye shall be sold to your enemies. When we got off the boat, what they did? They sold us, but he said the people that we were sold to was our enemies. Right. So you got enemies and you don't even know it. That's why the officer said envy not your oppressor. They oppressed us. They oppressed a man and his heritage, because what's our heritage? Christmas is our heritage. Right, Thanksgiving our heritage. No, you won't find it in the Bible. The Bible actually tells us not to celebrate those things. This man right here, these, the so-called white man, and the Arabs, the Chinese, those are not your friends. Those are your enemies. Them the same people that sold you and put the yokes of iron on your neck. Read it again. And, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again uh -huh. with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Uh -huh. Thou shalt see it no more again. And there 
ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. God said we got off them boats, we was going to be sold for slave men and slave women. Did that happen to us? We got some kind of what? Black history to remind us of what? That we were slaves. Did you know that we still slaves today? You ain't know that? Get that in Baruch 3 and 8. Because guess what, right? If they came and got us from the coast of Africa and they brought us here, did we go back to our homeland? So that means we what? We still slaves. Right. You understand what I'm saying? What's the motherland? Y'all know the motherland? Okay, I'll pray. I'll show you that too. But read what you got. The book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 8. Uh -huh. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. God said today, right now, while Keela's standing right here, and what you said your name was again? Ahmad? Huh? Kimron. Kimron. Oh, Kimron. It started with a C. Oh, Kamar. Okay. He said Kamar and Khalil. He said, today, y'all are still in the land of your captivity. You're still a slave. You're still a slave. I'm a slave. We, we slaves right here. We still slaves. You understand what I'm saying? Because our home then is Jerusalem. Have you ever seen Jerusalem? The Bible just said we weren't going to see Jerusalem no more. Why? Because we stopped keeping God's commandments. Right. Why? Because we want to have boyfriends and girlfriends. Like the officer said, we want to fulfill our lust. We want to go after our lust with feel good. But guess what? It's not going to feel good if you get the sister pregnant and she get, have to have a baby. That's it's right. not going to feel good. It's not going to feel good. It's not going to feel good if she get pregnant and she by herself. Because the most high God, he got a way of dealing with our people. He can put you to death. That's you can get her pregnant, he can kill you. He ain't did nothing wrong. He just kill you. He killed her in the midst of her having the baby. Leave you by yourself. You understand what I'm saying? Read what you got. The book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 26. Uh -huh. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free. The most high God said, they say this is the land of the free, but the Bible says Jerusalem is the land of the free. Read. That's right. Which is the mother of us all. Our homeland is Jerusalem. Our customs is keeping God's commandments. Give me that in 1711. Sarah. Our heritage, like I was telling you, a heritage, a heritage is something that we do. Like you see the so-called black people, what we do? We celebrate Christmas, we celebrate Thanksgiving, we celebrate the 4th of July, we celebrate, give me some more. What else we celebrate? St. Patrick's Day. Y'all had on green yesterday? But that was that was just yesterday. You seen our people walking around in green, didn't it? The most high God ain't give us that. That's not our heritage. Read what you got. The book of Sirach, chapter 17, verse 11. Besides this, he gave them knowledge in uh -huh. the law of life for inheritance. Now watch this. He said he gave us the law of life for heritage. The laws of God, marriage is honorable. Thou shalt not hate my brother in my heart. That's going to make you live. Because guess what? Give me that. Wonder from the way of understanding. 21 to 16. It say um, the law of life meaning what? Our people, when you see our people today walking around, they're in a dead state. Y'all live in, the, in probably in the hood on it. When you walk through the hood, what you see? You see drug people bugged out their mind on it. You see drugs, you see weed smoke. The Most High God said, when you ain't keeping these commandments, you ever seen the walking dead? They talking about us. I'm going to show you that they talking about us. Watch this. Read what you got. The book of Proverbs, chapter 21, verse 16. Uh -huh. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding. The man that wandered away from this Bible, keeping God's commandments. Read. Shall remain in the congregation of the dead. The most high God said, when you ain't got these laws, you dead. You dead because this is what this is our life. This is our lifeline. This is what keep me from getting shot down in the street. Right. This is what keep me from going to prison. This is what keep me from being a whoremonger. Right. These laws is what it, it ordains my whole life. It orchestrates everything. It taught me how to be a man. It taught me how to be a better father for my children. This is my lifeline. Yes. If I leave this, I'm going to be a dead man. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So right now what we doing, we pumping life back into y'all. Yes. We give you an opportunity to live because you ain't living. This ain't living. You smoke weed? Y'all don't smoke weed? That's good. But guess what? Our little brothers y'all age, they smoking weed to ease their mind. Give me that in 61 and 1. I said, go back to that. But we didn't know that the good tidings, this Bible, what we just read, the lifeline, that's what's going to build y'all up. That's what's going to heal you. Matter of fact, drop that get forward too. Pro Proverbs uh, 20. Watch this. Because our people sick. When you sick, what you got to go see? Who you got to go see when you sick? The doctor? Right. But watch this. Our people sick. I'm going to show you what a doctor said. Read what you got. The book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 2. Uh -huh. For I give you good doctrine. Doctrine is what the doctors do. They give you a doctrine to help you heal you. So the Bible says, I'm giving you good doctrine. Read. Forsake not my law. God's laws is the doctrine that heals us. 
We just read what? If we keep the commandments, we live. We're going to say it again. Read what you got. For I give you good doctrine. Forsake not my law. He taught me also and said unto me, Let thine heart retain my words, keep my commandments, and live. King Solomon, he said, my daddy, we read what King Solomon told his son. He told his son what? Keep the commandments and live. He telling you again, he said, hey, my daddy told me when I was a little dude, he said, keep the commandments and live. Because guess what? Give me um, Leviticus 19 to 17. I'm going to show you some. I know you got young friends. I don't know if any of your friends do, but my young friends when I was growing up, they had guns. They were selling weed. They was killing each other. They hate each other for a pair of shoes. Oh, you got the J's. I'm going to shoot you down the street because they don't know this law right here. Right. We, they didn't know this lifeline. Read, Read this. Read the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. You my little brother. The Bible told us to deal with the fatherless. Deal with the fatherless. Be a father to the fatherless. So you really like my son. She's like my daughter. You right. understand what I'm saying? That's how I'm looking at y'all like my children. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So the Bible tell me not to hate my kids. I can't right. hate y'all. So what I have to do, I have to tell you, hey, little bro, you shouldn't be laying with her. Leave that for another time. Get your mind right. Understand who you are. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org